I just woke up, I'm still in bed, but let's see if we're at 200,000 subscribers now. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Slow internet. Hmm. Oh hey, I think we're at it. Oh my gosh, 200,000. Well, thanks everybody for following along and making our silly little YouTube journey over the last nine years so exciting and worthwhile but oh my god what's that spectrum thingy watch the video to find out so what is this colorful rectangle well over the last month or so i've been toying around with tensorflow which is the most popular machine learning library in the world created by the one and only google but i gotta thank serene and some other people at the h2 essential discord server because without them i would be pathetically helpless my first major project in tensorflow was to write a program that could look at about one second of audio, so that's 40,960 samples, and figure out whether a violin or a piano was playing. Now, I would add more instruments, but I thought I would keep it simple to start with. And if I could get that to work, then adding in three, four, five instruments and so on would just be upgrading the same system. So, I need some tool to interpret this large amount of data, and then wrap it up into one concise report. You know what? Let's use CNN. We all know what CNN is, right? A news network. Oh, but if you want to sound upper class, you have to roll your S's. So we've actually got a new roll network. That means yes, it's true. I'm using a convolutional neural network to look at a one-dimensional image of 40,960 pixels and then classify that as either piano or violin. I already recorded myself explaining how this whole thing works, but it took like 15 minutes, so maybe we'll do that another time. So here was my procedure. I found 5 hours of raw audio of pure piano and violin solos on YouTube. Then I downloaded those, and then I trained my CNN on that training data overnight. Because the synapses were all randomly set at the beginning, the accuracy did indeed start at 50%. But as the hours drew on, the accuracy went up and up until it reached 98% by the time I woke up. However, the neural net could just be creating a lookup table, memorizing the expected output for every single possible input, and that's not good. So to be sure, I next tested the convolutional neural network on 1,000 samples it had never seen before. The verdict? 96.8% accuracy. To the detriment of my parents, that's better than I do on most of my math tests. So, I was really satisfied. But what's really cool is now you can input any 40,960 sample audio snippet into this neural network and it will be forced to classify it as either piano or violin so it doesn't see anything else in the world which means we can take the audio from this video itself and feed it into the neural network and what it thinks that audio is is being displayed in this rectangle in the corner and you probably guessed that already so if i just play some samples of each instrument playing you should be able to see the neural network in action Pretty cool, right? But we can do some cherry picking. So if it got 96%, which were the 4% of samples that it got wrong? Well, here are the 5 audio snippets that in reality were violins, but the CNN was most confident that it was piano. And here's the 5 audio snippets that in reality were pianos but the CNN was most confident that it was violin. Hold on, what if there's a giant conspiracy among all YouTube videos to create fake audio that artificially inflates the CNN's accuracy or something? Like, what if there are hidden markers in there? If I want to be absolutely sure that the CNN works in general, why don't I just record myself playing these instruments and then see what the CNN predicts. No way for internet trickery to be at play here. So I'm gonna play something on the piano here and then on the violin to show you what's really going on.
Okay, and next we've got to go to the violin, which I haven't played in one and a half years, so I'm not even sure if it's still possible. Good enough. Oh shoot, it's raining everyone. You drinking game. Take a swig every time a raindrop hits the ground. Hi good, you're a cat in a box. Meow. Meow for me. That's all for this video. If you want a more in-depth explanation for how convolutional neural networks work, let me know in the comments and maybe I will upload that. But there is one last thing I tried. When you feed in the input audio into the network, you tweak the weights of the synapses of that network to get the output closer to the desired output, as in the actual answer. But what if you don't tweak the actual network itself, but tweak the inputs to be more like the outputs you desire? Maybe you can take any type of audio sample and make it more and more like a violin. Maybe you can bring a violin out of thin air? Let's see what happens. Carrie KH. Carrie KH. Carrie KH. Well, that didn't work out too well. Let's try a more GANI approach, which means we have two neural networks, both a generator and a discriminator. Maybe that'll be better? Don't laugh at me, don't bully this innocent child. So I know the last few results were not at all violin-like and probably ruined your eardrums. I wasn't even sure if this video was worthwhile because I couldn't produce any enjoyable audio for you to listen to. But perhaps just the fact that I had this visual discriminator here was interesting enough. And you know, you just know that I'm not giving up on this project. I don't have a habit for giving up projects, do I? By the way, I just found out there's like a whole new crop of videos by people like Scares009 and The One that are like evolution themed and they even like address me in the video saying that I was their inspiration and that's really cool. So I just want to let you two and everyone else, I know there's more people out there and I don't want to neglect you. I just want to let you know that I watch your videos, I lurk a lot so I'm, I'm not commenting but I do see a lot of them and they're so cool. Ah, I just really appreciate it. So thank you for all your hard work. And that's it.